So today I'm going to create a virtual machine using a Linux Debian distribution. You can get the distro from this web page. Uh, you know, to use Hyper-B, you need to make sure that it's enabled on your Windows features. And then you can just run the Hyper-B manager. Before creating the actual virtual machine, uh, let's check the virtual switch manager. You may want to create one external virtual switch. I created one that I call bridge switch. I'm going to use this uh, bridge switch in order to connect to my Linux virtual machine through its IP and I'm sharing the proper network card. So I'm going to proceed to create a new virtual machine. Once the ISO file has been downloaded. Generation 1 is just fine. The defaults are OK. Here you want to select your bridge. In my case is called bridge switch. I just need 5 gigs for this. And here you need to select the ISO file. Uh, right click and select connect and click start I don't want to use a graphical install you select uh, the language according to your preferences the same with your country and key map. Uh, you specify the host name. Anything that is relevant for you. I don't want to specify a password for root uh, because I want sudo to be installed. You need to specify a password for a user. In this case, I'm creating a user that is called Oscar. Time zone Eastern is fine. Those the defaults. Yeah, use the entire disk, five gigs, all files in one partition. That's fine. Yeah, write the changes to disk. No, I don't want to scan another DVD. Use a network mirror. Yeah, maybe. Canada is fine. You can select whichever you prefer. I don't have an HTTP proxy. OK. You can select to participate or not. Um, for me, this is all I need. SSH server and a standard system utilities. Uh, I'm going to install Apache, PHP, and MySQL uh, on my own. I'm going to click Yes. Select the device that I want. and the installation has been completed. OK.
first let me update apt I want to install a different text editor okay so I don't want Debian to try to look into the DVD all the time I want to edit comment this line out save the file and we can try one more time there you go now instead of uh, trying to read from the DVD it's using the mirror okay now let's install Apache okay now let's try to test from the Windows machine the Apache server on this virtual machine I need to know the IP so I'm gonna ask for the IP IP address and it's 192.168.1.104 I believe okay perfect so from your Windows computer now you are able to uh, connect to your Apache server on your virtual machine uh, let's continue with Apache and enable um, to deploy uh, web applications on the users folder on, on Debian I'm gonna enable one module I'm gonna type sudo user as bin a2n mod user there now we need to restart the patchy currently this is my uh, home folder so I'm gonna create a directory as Oscar and I'm gonna call it public underscore HTML and here I'm gonna create an index.php and for now I'm just gonna add just HTML because we haven't installed PHP just yet something super basic Now let's see if we can reach this web page from our Windows environment. In order to do so, I'm going to type Oscar index.php. There you go. The module that we just enabled is going to allow us to create web applications under your home uh, home folder uh, public underscore HTML and your uh, Linux environment however you could as well go to bar www HTML 
and let me create another page here uh, I'm gonna call it test.php but here I know that I need to sudo in order to successfully write the file save the file and now the name of this file was test.php I believe there you go so both paths are available for you now after enabling that module let's proceed to install PHP Okay, perfect. Let's see if uh, Apache knows about PHP now. I'm going to restart Apache. And I'm going to add some PHP to my test file. Say this, refresh, and it's working just fine. Now, I want to show you something. So, uh, first, I want to test PHP on my home folder. I don't need to sudo here because I'm the owner of this file and folder. So, Let me add some PHP here. And let me try the path again with tilde uh, username index.php so s definitely s there's something wrong right like um, we're some, seeing some fancy characters here uh, the thing is that there is an additional step that you need to do in order to enable uh, PHP on the user uh, folders uh, let's check the configuration of PHP um, at Apache, let's go to etc Apache 2 mods available and let's take a look at php7.conf now take a look at this comment To re-enable PHP in user directories, comment the following lines from if module to e 
uh, forward slash if module. Let's try to do so. I'm going to save the changes. I'm going to restart Apache. Let's try one more time. Much better. So that's an important consideration for you. Uh, if you plan to use uh, the user folder to deploy web applications. Finally, let's install MySQL. Okay, it seems that it's done. Now, if you want, you can execute the following. MySQL secure installation. What's the current password for root? Um, set root password, yeah, we don't have one. remove anonymous users. Yeah, maybe you want to do that uh, sooner rather than later. This allow root login remotely. That's a good idea. Remove test and access to it. The test database, no, you can keep it. Yeah, you can reload the privilege table now. Okay, let's try to connect. There you go. And that's it for this video. Uh, by now, you have your Linux virtual machine with Apache, PHP, and MySQL ready for you. Uh, thank you.